in the Qs on Monday. The Orange, the home team, wear their orange jerseys today. We'll move left to right in the opening quarter. DePaul in a colorful matchup wears their blue jerseys. They'll move right to left. Nikisha Thompson leads our strike crew. We'll author the opening tip right now. It's being knocked around, loose on the ground, and we're going to have a jump ball off the opening tip. So we will have a second jump ball. Don't get that often. We should have a second jump ball. It really wasn't anyone's possession. So the, the rare jump ball with 9.57 on the first quarter clock. Try it again. Are they putting the, they're getting things situated for another jump ball here. And knocked around this time and controlled by DePaul. So Blue Demons officially We'll have the first possession of the ball game. They are in sync back and set up the 2-3 zone. And we'll find out who's going to shoot the game's first three. It's going to be everybody all the time on both sides. Stonewall, instead of 15-footer from the right, comes up short and a rebound by Tiana. Mungukahia pushing pace left to right. Lobs the left wing. Drummond will toss the game's first three. No good long. Rebound Campbell and loops it over the top, racing left to Millinder. 30 seconds scoreless gone by. Near travel out top for Campbell. She'll trigger a three straight away and miss. Rebound Drummond, and the pace of the game, as expected, is high. Mungakahia flying left to right in the lane. Stops, finds Drummond. A left wing three for Miranda. No good back iron. And a rebounding foul on Finkley. First on Amaya. Scoreless 47 seconds in. And DePaul will get it back. Update you on the football game, which is going on as well. Eric Dungey, who many thought would not play today, has dominated the first half. The Orange had Dungey just scored his third rushing touchdown. Syracuse leading Boston College 28-14 late in the first half. The Paul ball left ended a scoreless game here in Cancun. Here's Kelly Campbell back near midcourt. Finds Stonewall in the right corner. Ponders and fires a long three. It's short off the iron. Rebound loose and snagged by Finkley. Arge pushed left to right, and Mungakahia hand-checked and fouled in the backcourt by Morris. First on the Blue Demons freshman. Well, the teams are shooting the threes as advertised in the early going, but nobody has made one as of yet. Scoreless still with 8.46 to go here in the opening quarter. Inbounds backcourt to Mungakahia, guarded by Millinder. Tiana bounces free throw line Finkley gets it back on a handoff spinning in the lane kicks drum and another open three for Miranda and finally one's down Drummond three looks and one make now it's 3-0 Syracuse in the early going a minute and a half played DePaul ball left in right block holding his Stonewall backs her way out loops the ball straight on to Campbell back to Stonewall now right corner now for Gray. She'll watch a three, no good long. Rebound inside by Cooper. And the orange run again with Tiana. Head up on the bounce. Surveying options, feeds the block. Finkley a post catch. Pulling her way through a double team going right to the rim and scoring. Well, Finkley usually heads to the left. This time she spun right and finished inside. Five nothing early Cuse. Trailed five nothing early yesterday. Long three left corner for Stonewall, no good. A long rebound, Tiana, and she'll push pace again, but no numbers. Mogukahia slows and waits for her team to join. Syracuse, the five-zip lead, about two and a half minutes gone. Tiana lost her defender all the way to the rim, and a lefty layup is good. It is 7-0 Syracuse in the early going. The Paul's got it left in here with Campbell headed to the key, spinning left for Millinder, now left corner. Ball back out top to Campbell. Perimeter passing for Morris, right wing. Now right corner, Stonewall, three rattles out. Rebound, Drummond in the orange run again. Tiana getting her way on the baseline under the rim. Try to scoop a pass, it looked like, inside as she jumped and was fouled. Foul on Marte Grays, her first. And I will say it was a shooting foul. So Tiana at the line in the early going, a 7-0 orange lead as Mungukahia will shoot a pair. First is good for Tiana. 
Well, an outstanding start here for Syracuse. Eight nothing, less than three minutes played. Tiana misses the second, rare to see. And DePaul gets the ball back, moving right to left. Kelly Campbell to the far sideline, and Morris loops it back out top to Campbell. Orange zone stretching way out. Morris a step inside the arc, will watch it hit an 18-footer. Sonia Morris, 8-2 now Syracuse, as Mungakahia flying ahead with Drummond on the baseline drive. Stops left side of the lane, a pass out top to Stroutman. Feeds the post to the free throw line, Finkley. One bounce, muscles up, and scores through contact. Another strong take for Amaya, and it is 10-2 Orange. Six and a half to go here in the opening quarter. The ball ball left end, Morris free throw line, and looking for a back cutter, but threw it right to Drummond. Hands off to Mungakai, who had her pocket picked by Morris going right to the rim and lays it in. Sonia Morris has all four Blue Demon points. 10-4, Syracuse leading. And now Stroutman will beat pressure as Mungakahi looped it over the top. A rare settled half-court set for the Orange. Screeners await for Tiana, works around Finkley to the right. Pitches out top Stroutman, feeds the block Finkley. Deep catch, spins left, scores again. Six early for Finkley. And the Orange up eight. 12-4 now with 5.46 to go here in the opening quarter. The Paul ball left end. Left wing Stonewall fakes a pass now. Fires a three. Way off line. Offensive rebound though Graves. Kicks out Millinder a left corner three. No. Rebound ping-ponging around and DePaul's got it back. Morris on the left wing. Brings it out top to Campbell. Back to Morris. Her left wing three around and off. Rebound strong this time for Cooper. And the Orange run with Tiana and bumped and fouled at midcourt. Foul on Ashton Millinder. And after this up and down start to the game, finally our first subs, a variety for both teams. Jaldi Tabdi, Lewis, and Engstler all check in for the Orange. Rebecca Dahlman in for DePaul. Likewise, Tanita Allen, a pair of seniors. 5.15 to play here in the opening quarter. Orange ball up eight early. Tiana dribble handoff for Lewis. Spinning on the perimeter. Kiara, nothing going on right now. Shot clock halfway through, which is about as deep as we've gotten. Lewis gets a high screen from Maeva. Spins it out top to Engsler. Emily puts it on the ground. Driving in the lane. Got to the rim. Can't quite finish. Rebound Stonewall. DePaul now left in. 4.45 to go here in the first, 12-4 Cuse. Dahlman fakes the three, kicks to the right and Campbell. Campbell holds above her head. Lewis the closest defender in the orange zone. Campbell bounce past Stonewall. Feeds left Millinder, her three-pointer no good. Rebound, bouncing loose and Mungakahia grabs it. Up the far sideline, weaving through traffic across midcourt. Look away pass to Jaldi Tabdi at the rim. Layup was blocked from behind. DePaul's got it now with Millinder. 4.15 to go in the opening quarter. Head to the key, Allen fakes a three. Now Millinder on the handoff. Finds Dahlman at the free throw line, back cutting Stonewall, layup's easy. Two for Shante Stonewall, and it is 12-6. Orange nearly threw away the inbounds pass, but it got through to Lewis. Kiki down the lane to the rim, missed the layup, blocked potentially by Allen. Again, up and down we go. Left end now, here's DePaul, Kelly Campbell, out top Allen, lefty three is strong. Long rebound, bodies tumbling, and a foul on Lewis, taking out Dahlman. First foul on the Orange backup point guard. It delivers us our first official timeout. 3.43 to go here in the opening quarter. Syracuse, the hot start, had a 12-6 lead on the Blue Demons. We'll step aside with the Syracuse IMG Sports Network.
Oh, neither team shooting it well yet. DePaul, this is hard to do. The game is barely six minutes old. DePaul is 0 for 10 from three. That won't last. The Orange have quote unquote only shot three threes. Drummond all of them and she's made one. The RNJ six points early lead. Brian gets with you. Halftime in Chestnut Hill. Eric Dungey's accounted for four touchdowns in the Orange. A 28-14 lead on Boston College at the half. The Paul ball here with Dalman in the left corner after the Lewis foul prior to the break. Right corner now, Tanita Allen. A left-handed dribble out top finds Campbell. Shot clock halfway through. Campbell feeds the high post. Braze turns to face, spinning now right, steps beyond the arc and chucks a line drive three. DePaul now 0 for 11 from deep as Engsler grabs the rebound. Tiana pushing pace again. In the lane, pull up free throw line, Jay Short. Rebound, Jaldi Tabdi, and they bring it back outside. Stroutman up for Lewis, right wing. Kiara gets a dig to screen. And a bounce out top. Tiana clears space, and Lewis will operate. Final three minutes, opening quarter, Syracuse a 12-6 lead. Lewis dribbling far sideline, gets a high screen from Maeva. Shot clock down to seven. Lewis in the lane, hooks it past Maeva, and fouled on her way out, catching it close to the iron. Foul on Dahlman, her first. And Maeva Jaldi Tabdi at the line for two. Maeva with nine points, eight rebounds yesterday. And a couple here for Maeva. Six point early orange lead. First is good. Well, I think we knew DePaul was gonna shoot an unbelievable amount of threes today. They're on pace to shoot about 50 but they've missed their first 11 from the outside. You figure that cannot possibly last. The Paul team that has made double figures in three pointers in all four games they've played this year. Maeva's hit both, it's 14 to six. The Arch leading with 2.38 to go in the opening quarter. Driving down the lane now is Deep Bekelja who's just checked in and her shot's poked over the end line by Maeva. Campbell heads over to inbound baseline left. Looking for a cutter, it's Allen, nothing doing there. Ball out top three for Grays is long, 0 for 12 now to pull from the outside. Rebound Cooper of the orange run again. Chance to stretch the lead to double figures. Lewis will run the point now as Tiana gets her first breather. 2.15 to go in the opening half, it's 14-6 orange. Lewis on a bounce out top, finds Engsler, trying to zip it inside for Maeva, but a pass too high. And over the end line. Orange turn it over. A third Orange giveaway today. Turnovers have been an issue this year for certain. The Paul ball left end, Syracuse by eight. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Allen swings it left for Grays. Finds a cutting Bekelja in the lane and now to the right corner. Three ball from there, no good. DePaul now 0 for 13 as Deepa Kelja can't hit. 14-6, Cuse. Lewis, nifty crossover in the lane. It's stripped on the way up by Grays, who got a quick hand in there. Nice defensive play by Marte Grays, senior out of Detroit. DePaul sub. Is Maya Stovall, their freshman point guard. Lewis to inbound, baseline right, and a whistle way off ball, a foul on Engsler. Oh, apparently on Maeva, as she was trying to post up inside. First on Jaldi Tabdi, with a buck 35 to go here in the opening quarter, and DePaul now throws it away, and Tanita Allen pass, too tall for the 5'7", Stovall heads out of play. So the Orange get it back, leading by eight, with 1.33 to go in the opening quarter. DePaul has just not found any rhythm on offense so far. Orange ball right in, here's Lewis. High screen, Engsler, high screen, Jaldi Tabdi around both. 
Zips it out top to Emily, driving the lane. Nice pass inside to Jaldi Tabdi. Hit her right in the hands, and she laid it home. Maiva's got four in the RJ 10-point first quarter lead. 108 to go here. Opening quarter. Right corner, Millinder at open three. Still nothing doing from the outside for DePaul. They are 0 for 14 from three. Cooper for Engsler and open left wing three for the Orange, no good. 50 seconds to go in the first, it is 16 to six, Cuse. Left wing Graves, swings it to the right wing, now out top, Bakelja for three, no good. Rebound Jaldi Tabdi. DePaul is 0 for 15 from three. Well, you don't want to be on pace to go 0 for 60, that, that's a bit much. 16 to six, Cuse by 10. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Lewis out top, looking for a screen, now has it from Maeva. Around it, crossing over, got bumped, no call, and chucked in a 15-footer. How is that not a foul? Nifty play by Kiera for her first bucket. The Orange lead by 12, and Drummond from nowhere from behind just ripped the pack at his snow ball. The Orange can have the final shot of the quarter. Six to go here in the first, Syracuse up 12. Now three, Lewis holding it two at one, a three to end the quarter, offline. And Syracuse will take a 12 point lead to the second quarter. Syracuse 18, DePaul six, and the Blue Demons are a stunning 0 for 15 from three. We'll take a break, second quarter when we come back. Orange by 12 on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network. A shocking 0 for 15 from three, 0 for 15. This is year in and year out. One of the best, both in volume and percentage, three-point shooting teams in the country. And they have started 0 for 15 today. Orange ball to start the second quarter as Lewis finds the front court right in. The orange up 12. Kiara on a bounce out top, switching to Paul defense. Now Stroutman has it straight away. Hands back to Lewis. Kiki on a dribble as Finkley comes to screen, clears out the lane, Lewis drives, gets to the rim, missed a contested layup, and a rebounding foul will be the second on Finkley going over the back. So two early ones on Amaya. She'll stay in for now as Maeva heads to the scorer's table. 9.34 to go here in the half. DePaul ball left end. Campbell tosses a three and finally, what is down for DePaul. Kelly Campbell hits the first after the 0 for 15 three start. 18 to nine now, the Syracuse lead is nine. Cooper right wing three, she's open and hits. Gabby was scolding yesterday, knocking down six threes and answers back. Campbell's hit for DePaul immediately. 21 to nine, 9.06 to go here. In the half, Campbell holding left wing. Blue Demons in the blue, have it left in. Stonewall turns to face of the free throw line. Tried to find a back cutting Campbell, no room on the pass and broke it up and stolen. Lewis has it now. Orange ball, left corner. Stroutman on open three and Dignes scrapes long. Drummond tracking the rebound, could not quite save it. Orange subs, Tiana and Maeva returning, replacing Lewis and Finkley. 
21 to nine, Orange by 12, with 8.40 to go in the half. Stonewall will bring it up, zips it up the far sideline to Campbell. Lefty dribble for the DePaul point guard. But a pass right to Jolene Deniger, who's entered for the first time. Now Campbell, shot clock 10. Nothing doing here, Campbell out top. Shot clock down to five, dribbling left, Cooper guarding. Now Dandiger hops into a three and leaned it into the hoop. She kind of lunged it up and hit the three. Well, the ball missed its first 15 threes, but it's hit two in a row. A long feet ahead for Jaldi. Tomdi could not be handled, but DePaul was the last finger on the basketball over the end line. 21 to 12, orange by nine with 8.06 to go here in the half. Inbounds pass to a wide open Cooper. Feet set for three, but missed. DePaul now will run. Eight minutes to go here in the half as Millinder a three, no good. Rebound by Cooper who got back quickly. As Tiana ahead, a dangerous pass barely reeled in. And the Orange will set up shot. Tiana's entry pass broken up, but deflected right back to Tiana. Look away to the corner where Drummond buries a three. Miranda's second hit from deep in the Orange lead back to 12. Quickly in transition, Millinder a left wing three can't answer. Rebound again, Cooper is doing a nice job on the glass. Gabby's sixth rebound already. The trailing Drummond along three right wing, no good. Rebound again, Cooper kicks out Tiana. She fakes the three, drives the lane, scooping layup short. Rebound out of play, last off, Drummond. It is flying up and down the court as expected. DePaul has taken 24 shots, 19 of them have been threes. The Orange team by comparison, just 10 of their 22 offerings have been from three. Well, we thought this would happen, but it's still wild to see it. 7.15 to go in the half, the Orange doubling DePaul, 24 to 12. DePaul sees zone, says we'll shoot threes endlessly. They've just not gone in yet at a higher rate. Stonewall right wing, three, good. DePaul finally starting to find the range. Now three out of 20 from three. 24-15, and DePaul, because of all the misses, has not really been able to press. Now they lock into their full court man pressure, but Tiana has no issues. 6.45 to go in the half, it's 24-15, Syracuse with the ball. Mogakaya, around to Jaldi Tabdi screen to the right. Feed straight on to Stroutman, puts it on the deck, near corner now for Cooper. Out top now Tiana, jabs, now drives, behind the back of the bounce. And a hand check on Tanita Allen. First on Allen. First foul on DePaul this quarter. Drummond out and Engstler returning. Lexi Held enters for the first time for DePaul, a freshman from Kentucky. Tiana will inbound baseline right, finds Cooper in the corner. Baseline drive for Gabby, got all the way to the rim. Nobody snapped her and the layup was easy. Cooper now with five and the Orange lead by 11. 6.20 to go in the half. DePaul ball left end, Allen a three, head of the key and this one's home. Well, DePaul's starting to heat up. They started 0 for 15 before their last six now. Tiana pushing pace, scooping a pass across the lane to Jaldi Tabdi. Back outside now to Engsler. She'll attack. Emily, two hands into Mogakahi in the right corner. And Tiana will bring it back out and run a play. Under six to go in the half. Orange ball up by eight. Maeva high screen. Tiana around it. Steps back. Three-pointer. No good. Jaldi Tomdi over the back going for the rebound. And now Maeva's committed two. Both orange centers, Jaldi Tomdi and Finkley, have a couple of fouls. So DePaul will get it back. Down eight with 5.48 to go in the half. Drummond returning. Jaldi Tobdi exits. Digna will slide down to the center spot. Well, it helps to have Engstler this year, so when you put Digna at center, if there is foul trouble, you still have two legit players with size on the court at all times if you want it. Corner three for DePaul, no good for Held. Offensive rebound, Stonewall. She'll kick it out. A left corner three now is good for Kelly Campbell. Two threes for Campbell, and DePaul back within five. 
Transition now with Cooper feeding the block inside. Strout would have caught it right at the rim and flips it home. Digna's first bucket. It's 28-21 Cuse with 5.18 to go on the half. Quickly now to Paul. Allen's bounce pass off the shins of Stonewall and a turnover over the end line. It is going up and down and down and up and wildly back and forth here today. Again, DePaul has taken 28 shots. All but five of them have been threes. DePaul is three for five from two. That, that's a pretty good percentage, but they got no interest in that. They are, though, five of their last eight from three, so forget about that 0 for 15 start. Matters not anymore. 5-11 to go here in the half. Orange ball right in, having beaten DePaul pressure. Drummond on the left wing, back out top, Tiana. Halfway done with the second quarter in a game that is flying by. Tiana out top. Directing traffic with her left hand and a whistle off ball. Three second violation on Digna. Orange give it away and deliver us an official timeout. 4.56 to go in the half. Our score from Cancun, Syracuse 28 to Paul 21. Good one in Cancun. Rest of the half after this on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network. In Cancun, latter stage is opening half. This orange season is brought to you by your Central New York Chevy dealers, proud sponsor of Syracuse women's basketball. 28-21, our score. The orange leading to Paul. Brian Higgins with you. Cancun challenge, the final game of the final day. 4.45 to go in the opening half. DePaul's got it on the left end, and somebody's probably about to shoot a three. At the free throw line, instead it's Gray. She'll step back, launch a long two, and there was a foul I think off the ball. On Drummond, apparently. So that had nothing to do with Gray's shot. And DePaul will inbound baseline right with Campbell looking for options. The inbounds pass, snuck past Digna, found a cutting Lexi Held who lays it in for a rare two. DePaul again back within five. Carol Lewis, the point guard now, among Akahia getting a breather. Near sideline, it's Cooper. And a whistle off ball at this end as well. Spotted by Mark Berger. He used to have Mark a lot more back in the Big East days. First time he's done a Cuse game in recent memory. Foul on Marte Grays, her second. She'll exit and Stonewall returns. Lewis will inbound baseline left. Cuse ball up by five. Led by as many as 12. Inbounds Drummond. Brings it out top. Engsler zips a pass inside Strout with a Quick move to the right, missed the shot off the window. Digna trying to dig out the rebound. And DePaul comes away with it. In transition, Campbell inside. Stonewall can't finish underneath, but fouled by Cooper. First on Gabby. Four oh nine to go in the half, and DePaul has absorbed the early blow. First free throw is good by Stonewall. Syracuse at one point led 24 to 12. And DePaul with the two free throws from Stonewall here 
has cut it from 12 down to three. It is a 13-4 to Paul run as Engsler launches a three right wing and misses. Rebound to Paul, a three could tie it here instead of fast break as Allen goes to the rim. Shot blocked as Engsler caught up from behind. Rolling free and Emily digs it out. Arge ball now running right, maintaining a three point lead. 3.45 to go in the half. Drummond for Engsler. Loops it too tall for Digna. Over the end line, another Arge turnover, the fifth of the game. Actually a significantly muted total from recent outings. Tiana too late to the table to get in the game right there. 3.35 to go here in the half. DePaul ball again a three would tie. And they were trying to pass to the left corner for Millinder for that three, but Drummond read the pass of Morris and intercepted it clean. Large ball right in. Kiera Lewis on the walk up. 3.20 to go. First half, Syracuse 28 to Paul 25. Lewis around a double stack out top. Puts it between her legs. Feeds Stroutman, a deep catch in the lane. Now Cooper back to Lewis. Kiera steps into a 17 footer. The jumper's short. Rebound to Paul. Tanita Allen digs it out. Again, a three would tie it for DePaul. Final three minutes of the half. Allen will launch that three long on the right, off the rim. A rebound again for Cooper. Gabby's got eight first half rebounds. Cooper brings it up, feeds ahead, Engsler, and fouled. On her way inside. Foul on Allen, her second. Engsler to the line for two. The Orange leading by three with 2.46 to go in the half. So Emily at the line for a pair. Nine points, 11 rebounds yesterday. A young career high on the glass for Engsler. Hitting the first, and the Orange lead it by four now. And the second as well. Thirty to twenty-five, Syracuse. Two forty-six to go till halftime. Inbounds backcourt. Campbell as the Orange get the press on. DePaul beats it easily. Left corner. Stonewall will chuck a three. Short. Rebound. Cooper. Her ninth. Gabby's tied her rebounding career high in the first half of the game. She's the shooting guard. Entry pass. So Strout with a one dribble to the rim and lays it in. Nice move by Digna. Playing center here with foul trouble for both Finkley and Maeva. 2.20 to go till halftime. It's 32-25 Orange. Dalman swings left corner. Now short quarter left side for Stonewall. Loops the ball out top. Holding Campbell. Feeds the free throw line. Stonewall fakes and drives on Digna. Awkward shot blocked by Stroutman. DePaul got it back. Shot clock at seven. Dalman kicks out. Campbell a wide open three. No good. Rebound eludes Drummond, but Cooper has it. Her tenth already. Mungakahia driving the lane. Looking for options. Nothing there. Now Lewis, the foul off ball. On Kelly Campbell. The first on the DePaul junior guard. And the fourth on DePaul this quarter. Both teams have committed four, so no shots yet. Mogakahe to inbound baseline right. Tiana. Loops it back out top for Cooper. Returns to Tiana, and the Orange will run a rare half-court set in this game. 140 to go in the half. The Orange, a seven-point lead, 32-25. Tiana, patient on the far sideline. Screen from Drummond. Pitch to Miranda. Quick trigger three and a hit from the outside. A third three for Drummond, and the Orange pushed the lead back to 10, responding to DePaul's run. Cooper just smacked the inbounds right out of play. And now the Orange will sink back and set up a half-court trapping pressure instead. 122 to go in the half at Syracuse 35 and DePaul 25. Stonewall carefully brings it up. Floats it ahead to Dahlman. On a bounce left and a pass left to Campbell. Campbell passes off and gets it back. Returns left to Bakelja. Now Campbell again, right wing, holds above her head. Shot clock to nine. Stonewall free throw line jumper is good. 
Shante Stonewall's having a big half. She's got nine. 35-27. Mugakahia weaving through the ball pressure by herself. Beat four defenders, but the ball floats out of her hands at the fifth and turns it over. Now Dahlman coast to coast. Fouled as Drummond got back a skosh late. Second foul on Miranda. With 44 seconds to go in the half, Rebecca Dahlman, the Vanderbilt transfer, will head to the line for two. 35-27. This game has been up and down. First half almost done. We have barely played 35 total minutes. Running time. They get the 20 minutes of basketball in. Second free throw for Dahlman, good. So she hits both. 35-29, Syracuse by six with 43 and 9 10 seconds to go in the opening half. DePaul showing full court pressure. Tiana finds Stroutman as an outlet and back to Tiana and DePaul will back off. Got about a 12, 13 second differential game at shot clocks. Tiana at the midcourt line, guarded by Millinder. Tiana eyeing the clock, four across the baseline. Shot clock 12 as Strout with a springs to action with a high screen. Tiana probing around it right, now around it left. In the lane, layup missed it strong. Rebound to Paul, they can hold for one if they want it. Let's see if they actually want to hold. Ball out top for Campbell with 10 seconds to go in the half, and the orange by six. Dahlman to the corner, Stonewall a three, it's long, rebound loose, Tiana has it, and that is halftime. Well, that was a wild and woolly and expected opening half. Syracuse 35, DePaul 29. Neither team shooting it great, but this game is getting up and down and compelling to watch. 35-29 at the half, the Orange lead it by six. Our Merrick halftime coverage comes next on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network.
For the second half here in Cancun, our score of the break, Syracuse 35, DePaul 29. Orange and Blue Demons playing to go 3-0. Winner gets through this Cancun challenge unscathed and picks up an all-important ranked win that will be quite valuable come March. Braddock is with you. The Orange have led the whole game so far and lead by six right now. The lead as large as 12. Doug Bruno, not exactly the spryest right now, with back trouble and a crutch helping him along as he is motoring his way as fast as possible back to the DePaul bench. Despite that, he has been as active as he potentially can be on the DePaul sideline in the last three games. DePaul ball to begin the second half. They wear the blue, the orange wear the orange. Uh, DePaul's got it right end in this six point game. Millinder out top. Toes behind the line, defense closes. A pass to a cutting stone wall. Missed a 10 foot floater. Orange the rebound with Mogakahia. Pushing pace right to left. Drummond stopping, faking, and firing a three. It's short. Long rebound. Just gets past Finkley, and DePaul comes away with it. Transition. Stonewall open inside, but Finkley recovers. Stonewall driving baseline. Awkward reverse layup will go. Rebound Mogakahia running right to left. Bounce pass to a driving Cooper, kicks Drummond, left wing three, no good. And a rebounding foul on DePaul. Finkley was grabbed by Marte Grays. Third foul on Grays. Grays is not featured heavily today, yet to score. First team All-Big East performer last year, and she heads to the bench early stages second half with the foul trouble. Arge convert quickly off the inbounds to stretch the lead to eight on a Drummond jumper inside the three-point line for a change. Miranda now with 11 to lead all scorers, first on either team to double figures. A three to answer from the right wing is good for Sonia Morris. One of the rare DePaul players not to hit a three yesterday has one here. Orange lead down to five. Mugakahi a trapped and baseball passes ahead to Drummond who has her pocket picked by Stonewall. Two on one, Millinder to the rim. A layup good. First bucket for Ashton Millinder and the orange lead is down to three. Full court pressure on, now it sloughs off. As Mugakahi crosses the midcourt line right to left. 90 seconds played after halftime, the orange lead is three. Tiana, high screen Finkley around it right, down the lane, step back, finds Stroutman ahead of the key three, offline. Rebound to Paul, and again, DePaul a chance to tie this game with a three. Lou Demons ball right in. Allen will fire that three, no good. Rebound Mogakahi. Orange now have it moving right to left. Tiana protecting the ball from Stonewall behind. Will set up shop in the half court. We've played two minutes and five seconds after halftime, and the Orange lead by three. Mogakahi. Out top, Stroutmana, high low lob, Finkley, and fouled on the catch by Morris. Second foul on the Blue Demon freshman. Tiana will inbound baseline right. Inbounds Drummond, hands Mugakahi a right corner three, missed it long. Rebound on the backside by Stroutmana, and the orange another look. Digna, nice pass to a cutting Drummond who lays it in. Stroutman a fire to a rocket. And Drummond now with a season high 13. 39-34, Syracuse back up five. Two and a half minutes played here in the second half. The ball ball right end. Here's Kelly Campbell. Out top to Morris. Feeds straight on Millinder. A toe on the line. Two is good. Long at two for Ashton Millinder. 39-36. Mugakahi eluding Stonewall again, who is so good at poking at that ball, charging from behind in the press. Large ball left end, Q calling the plays. Four across the baseline as Tiana pounds a dribble. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Delayed action here, finally springing to life with the shot clock at 10. Tiana, shot clock now five, crossing over, driving the lane, getting to the rim, reverse layup, good. Mugakahi has got five, and Q calls timeout with 6.46 to go in the third. The Orange, a five-point lead in the final game of the Cancun Challenge. It's the Orange 41 and DePaul 36. We'll step aside. 
More of the third quarter to come after this on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network. Third quarter at Syracuse, 41, DePaul 36. Friday gets back with you after the Q timeout. First of the game by either team. The Orange up five, DePaul with the ball, advancing up the court left to right with Kelly Campbell. The Orange have led the whole game. But DePaul fought back into it after a dreadful shooting start. Campbell right wing, short quarter right side now to Stonewall. Dribbles back out beyond the arc. Had the ball knocked out by Finkley. Now stolen by Drummond. Miranda pushing flank by Cooper. Bounce pass ahead. Gabby bobbled it. Saved it to Kiara Lewis who laid it in. Well, that was an adventure, but it worked out for two. The Orange lead by seven. 6-12 to go now third quarter. It's 43-36. Blue Demons ball right in. Right wing holding Tanita Allen. Pass out top nearly intercepted by Cooper. Now Millinder 30 feet away to the left corner now. Morris, a 15-foot jumper, scraped short, got her own rebound. They'll bring it back outside to Millinder. Right wing Morris, one more Allen. New shot clock has 22 left on it. Campbell for Morris, fakes and now fires a three. It's an air ball. It's out of bounds at Orange Ball. DePaul's sub, Rebecca Dahlman returning. Kara Lewis will inbound in the backcourt. Marte Grays returns for DePaul with the three fouls. And she was on the bench a little less than four minutes. Lewis, baseball pass long. Drummond breaking three and catches it one-on-one -on -one with Dahlman. Crossing over and driving. Drummond to the rim. Got whacked on the elbow. No call and DePaul comes down with it. Long pass ahead here to Millinder inside Stonewall, and she throws it into the front row. Coach Q is still incensed that we didn't stop for some drum and free throws after she got cracked on the forearm. Orange ball here with 5.27 to go in the third quarter. Lewis to bring it up left end. Pace slows momentarily as Kiara dribbles in the half court. High screen, Finkley around it right. Now out top, Stroutman lobs inside. Pass too tall for Finkley and turned over. 5.05 to go in the third. DePaul has it down seven right in. Left corner, it's Graves. Feeds left block, Stonewall. Quick move, baseline, stepping through. Missed the layup short. Rebound snagged by Stroutman. Nice defense by Finkley. Orange run now with Lewis. Kiara, look away pass. Cooper, a right corner three. Banks it home. Gabby's second. She's got eight, and the Orange a 10-point lead again. Well, just like the first half, DePaul had it down to three in the orange, just like the first half, respond with a 7-0 run to push it back to 10. 46-36, a long Dolman three scrapes the iron and heads out of play. And that means an official timeout. 4.29 to play. We are midway through the third quarter. It is Syracuse 46. It's DePaul 36. The final day of the Cancun Challenge rolls on when we come back on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network.
Charged by 10, 46-36. Brian Higgins with you. For each orange assist this season, IBW Nika is donating 10 bucks to the Jim and Julie Bayheim Foundation to benefit pediatric cancer research. So far this year, 116 assists, 1160 bucks donated by IBW Nika towards fighting cancer in Central New York. And while that happens, Gabby Cooper steals the inbounds pass and goes coast to coast for the layup. 10 points now for Gabby at her first career double-double. She's got 10 points and 10 boards, a career high. 48-36, orange by 12, along three left wing for Millinder, no. Rebound, Stonewall missed the putback. And a rebound knocked over the end line, last five by Ava. Orange subs leave with this five. Mugukahia, Lewis, Drummond, Engstler, and Shaldi Tabdi. To Paul Ball. They'll inbound, trailing by 12. This matches the Orange's game-high lead. They were up previously 24-14 early in the second quarter. To Paul inbounds far sideline to Grays. Now Danninger's back in. Short corner left side, Millinder, a 15-footer. Shot at about 18 feet, an air ball. Orange ball moving right to left with Tiana. Head up on the bounce. The trailer's Engsler. Transition three, missed it long. Long rebound on the baseline, snagged by DePaul, and they'll run. Millinder across the midcourt line right. Ahead left corner, Stonewall fakes, drives baseline right to the rim, easy layup. Shante Stonewall's having an excellent game with 11. 10 point orange lead as Mugakahia beats pressure by herself. Flying to the front court, to the rim with contact. And Tiana will shoot a pair. And a technical foul after the play on who for what? What do we got? The officials discussing it was spotted by our crew chief today, Nakisha Thompson. Tech was whistled well after the initial foul call. Fouls on Gray's her fourth. And then a technical apparently on DePaul. So the personal on Gray's. And a technical on Gray's, that's her fifth. She's out with 3.32 to go here in the third quarter. Calls to mind what happened to Engstler a couple weeks ago out in Oregon. And apparently Head official Nikesha Thompson didn't like what Gray's had to say after the fact, so picks up her fourth. The Tech is her fifth, and she is done with 3.32 to go in the third quarter. Drummond at the line for the technicals. She hits the first and the second. The Orange lead by 12. Now Tiana's going to go shoot the free throws from the shooting foul. Well, that is a rough blow on DePaul. Hard to say what happened to lead to the technical. It's like a triple whammy. It's the free throws, the foul, and she's done for the game. Tiana misses the first of two. And hits the second. So the Orange pick up three. And now lead by a game high 13. It's 51-38 Cuse with three and a half minutes to go in the third. The Paul ball right in and they're starting first team all big East performer Marte Grays has fouled out without scoring in the third quarter. The left corner three now for Daniger is good and one fouled shooting the three by Drummond. So Drummond commits the foul. That's her third. Daninger hits the three, her second hit from deep, and she'll go to the line for one more. Free throw is no good. Rebound by Lewis. Orange ball left dead. Engstler inside for Jaldi Tobdi, trapped in trouble. And a jump ball is called. Arrow will keep it with the orange. Three oh two to go here in the third. It's 51-41. Hughes. 
They, I thought it signaled, one official signaled a jump ball. They've changed it to a foul call. Instead, the fifth on DePaul this quarter. Now, Sheldy Tobdy is going to shoot and hit the first. Foul on Tanita Allen, her third. Well, it is rolling downhill the wrong way for DePaul right now with these fouls. Maeva hits both. She's got six. Finkley returning, replacing Maeva. 3.02 to go in the quarter. The RJ 53 41 lead. Three quarter court pressure led by Lewis. Campbell picked up her dribble just past the midcourt line. Now gets it ahead to Daninger. She'll toss a long three at miss. Rebound Syracuse. And the Orange have it up 12 with 2.45 to go here in the third quarter. Mungakahia finds the front court left in. Tiana working the right handed dribble around the screen. Picks up her bounce, finds Lewis right corner, feeds the block, deep catch by Finkley, stepping through, floating with the right and scoring. Amaya Finkley now with eight. And the Orange a game high 14 point lead. 2.26 to go in the third. Allen has it half court right for DePaul, finds Millinder, free throw line jumper is there. Ashton Millinder now with six. Orange lead down to 12, Orange run left in. Lewis feeds the block, nice catch, Finkley kicks out Drummond. Quarter three, Miranda is good. Drummond's got 18 to lead all scores and Syracuse suddenly up 15. Danninger's pass broken up and stolen. Here comes Mungakahia, flanked by Drummond. Tiana transition three, short. Rebound, Finkley. Kicks out Drummond, now Engsler. Driving in the lane, Emily shovels it off. Too hot to handle for Finkley. And turned over, over the end line. But the Orange all of a sudden are up by 15. It's 58-43 with a minute 46 to go in the third. Syracuse looking to pick up its second win over a ranked team already this season, having beaten then 20th ranked Texas A&M a week ago Wednesday. Millinder driving the lane, kicks out left wing. Allen to three, bounces off the rim, the backboard at home. Allen seconded from deep. Orange lead trimmed to 12. Minute and a half left. Third quarter, pace slows momentarily. Tiana on the bounce far sideline, dribble handoff. Lewis, awkward shot at the free throw line, blocked and stolen by Stonewall. Outlets ahead, Bekelja. Hesitation dribble into Drummond and fouled by Miranda. That is her fourth. Her third, rather, third on Drummond. So third on Drummond. And that sends Diva Kelja to the line, the sophomore out of Ohio. 12 point game, minute 10 to go in the third with the Orange leading. Free throw good. <laughs> Ton of subs, Stroutmana, Cooper, and Jaldi Tabdi returning for the Orange. Lexi held back in for DePaul. 11 point game, 70 seconds left in the quarter. Second shot is good. 58-48. Orange leading Kelly Campbell nearly stole the inbounds pass, deflected it over the far sideline. Mungikahia a breather late in the third as Lewis returns with 109 to go in the quarter. Engsler will inbound on the sideline of the backcourt. DePaul double teams the Orange point guard, Lewis. Kiera can't get free, but Cooper does instead. Now finds Lewis to bring it up. Orange ball as we enter the final minute here in the third quarter. Syracuse leading by 10, have led the entire game. Engsler out top. Zips the ball right corner, Cooper. Gabby, no room to operate. Lobs now Engsler intended her in the right block. Broken up and stolen by DePaul. Cooper rolling around, trying to get it back, but DePaul comes away with it. Bakelja, the trailer, now gets it back. Bakelja ahead of the three, key three and knocks it down. D. Bakelja's got a 5-0 run, and Q will take a timeout with 38 seconds to go in the quarter. 38 seconds left in the third, and the Orange 15-point lead has been trimmed to seven. DePaul has scored eight straight. We'll keep it here for now with a seven-point game. It looked like the Orange were trying to put the finishing touches on it late in the third, but DePaul has responded quickly. 
update you on what's going on in Chestnut Hill. 35-21 now, Syracuse leading Boston College. In football, Eric Dungy is thrown for 343 and two touchdowns to the bad back and run for three more scores. A defining game yet again for Dungy trying to cap his senior season before the bowl game. 58-51 here, 38 seconds to go in the quarter. Arge ball. Stroutman to inbound in the backcourt. Gets it into Lewis. Got about a seven second differential game in shot clocks here late in the third. Orange will slow momentarily. Lewis on a drive. Working down the lane, kicks left corner. Stroutman a three, no good. Rebound, Maeva had it. Lost it right to Lewis. Her layup is altered. Rebound, Jaldi Tabdi kicks it back out. There's a collision in the lane and a foul on the pass against Maeva. That's the third on Jaldi Tabdi, and DePaul gets it back with 14 seconds to go here in the third quarter. 8-0 run in progress as DePaul fighting their way back into it. Jaldi Tabdi will exit with the fouls, and Finkley back in for the final possession here of the quarter. 14 seconds to go in the quarter as Campbell will bring it up to Paul. Looking to stretch this run to double figures. Campbell's got it left wing, five to go in the quarter. Left corner now, it's Stonewall. Two to go, launches and hits a corner three. An 11-0 DePaul run ends the quarter. And the Orange lead, once 15 just minutes ago, is down to four. 58-54, and we got ourselves a ball game. Headed to the fourth, the Orange have led the whole way, but it's gonna be nip and tuck to the finish. Syracuse 58, DePaul 54. The fourth quarter is next on the Syracuse IMG Sports Network. Ball game as we head to the fourth quarter at Syracuse 58, DePaul 54. It looked like the Orange had dropped the hammer, stretching to 15. DePaul an 11 0 run in the final 2 10 of the quarter. And we got ourselves a four point game as we start the fourth. Brian Higgins with you, final day, final game, Cancun challenge, Orange ball left end. Underway now, fourth quarter. Mugakahia gets a high screen from Lewis and Engsler and, my, and Finkley around all of them to the right. Their pass to the post is stolen by Stonewall. DePaul has it now, riding an 11 nothing run. The Orange have led the whole game. Bellender now, Bakelgen, open three, no good right wing. Nice rebounded traffic by Finkley, trying to get out of trouble, it hands off to Mogakahia. Large ball left end, Tiana, look away pass, intended for Finkley running the floor. Deflected out of bounds by Stonewall, who just shows up everywhere. They will stay Orange ball. Orange have not scored in closing on three minutes here, and DePaul has taken advantage. Tiana to inbound, loops out top, intended for Lewis, deflected, loose, bodies tumbling, it's out of bounds, and last off a diving Mungakahia, who hit the deck hard. Tiana helped back up, and DePaul has it again, 9-11 to go. In a 58-54 game as Tiana shakes out her left arm. 
The mop crew working hard around midcourt where bodies were flailing everywhere. Well, DePaul has made its run. 58-54 with 9-11 to go in the game. DePaul ball right in, here's Tanita Allen. Nothing doing, now swings left for Campbell. Free throw line, Millinder. Backs her way outside the arc. Millinder to the corner, but Kelja pushes up at three, no good. Rebound, Exler outlet, Tiana. Arge push, Mugakahia accelerating. Her own teammate, Lewis, hit her from behind. Ball came out, but right to Engsler. Emily now driving the lane, collision in the lane and a charge. Foul on Engsler. First on Emily, and DePaul gets it back with 8.46 to go in still a four point game. Sonia Morris returning to the game for DePaul. 8.46 to go, the Orange hanging on, up four, 58-54. Campbell brings it up, has it now up the near sideline. Campbell, Mogukahia the closest defender, bouncing right, Millinder. Shot clock 15, Millinder feeds the high post stone wall, 15 foot jumper is short, rebound, Engsler. Emily outlets Cooper in the Orange, push and slow. Mogukahia holds and the Orange will run a set. With 8.15 to go in the game, and the Orange leading by four. Nobody has scored yet this quarter. Mugakahia putting it behind her back, driving the lane, shows the ball, kicks it out to Cooper, and they'll bring it back outside. Gabby refines Tiana, and a whistle off ball, three second violation on Finkley. Well, they call it a foul on Amaya. Third on Finkley. And Maeva returns at center. Both orange centers have three fouls now. So does Drummond, the orange foul trouble. DePaul's foul trouble is their starting post. Marte Gray is fouled out of the game with her fourth foul and a technical for her fifth late in the third quarter. She is done. Nobody else.